Welcome to this edition of Psychic Tips, Tricks, and How-Tos, where it's all about helping you unlock your psychic potential. The topic of today's vlogcast is about how to confidently trust your intuition. Shannon in Scottsdale, Arizona asks, why is it sometimes so hard for me to trust my intuition? How can I build up my confidence and trust what I'm receiving? My name is Dar Payment, and I'm a professional psychic medium and channel who is passionate about sharing with you how to accelerate your psychic abilities. And what a great question. You know, why is it so hard to trust your intuition? If you think about it, your intuition can be compared to your own personal life GPS system. So learning to trust your intuition can be your best ally for living the life of your dreams, as well as navigating through challenging times in your life. You know, the thing is, everyone is intuitive. It's a quality that you and I are born with, and it's not a superpower bestowed upon a handful of lucky people. You know, your intuition is an inner soul quality. And the word itself means to look or consider within. And the truth is that everyone has access to intuitive guidance. Your intuition is at work every minute of every day, and learning to pay attention to what is presenting itself to you will allow you to move through life with more and more joy and less stress. So why is it so hard to trust your intuitive guidance? You know, many times people tell me that they only use their intuitive guidance with the big things in their life, but then wonder why they sometimes refuse to act on the guidance they're receiving for the little things. Why is this? <laughs> the reason that so many people do not trust the still small voice within is because they fear they'll make the wrong decision. And where's that coming from? <laughs> it comes from the ego mind, right? So learning to trust your intuition for some takes a bit of practice. And this means you need to start small in order to develop faith and trust in the inner guidance that you're receiving. And when you practice with small, ordinary things in your daily life, it makes trusting your gut with the bigger challenges in life that much easier. So consistent practice boosts your confidence as well as strengthens your connection with how your inner ally communicates with you. So here are some things you can do to learn to trust your intuition, to practice small and to build up on the big. You know, learning to trust your intuition, number one, it means that you need to learn to quiet your mind. It also means that you need to learn to tune into and listen to the messages being presented to you. And the best way to do this is meditation and journaling. And as a matter of fact, meditation and journaling are two of the fastest and most effective ways to do this. So let's look at first meditation. You know, meditation quiets your mind and it allows you to tune into your higher wisdom self. It enables you to shut out all outside influences by quieting mental chatter and tuning inwards. And you know, the thing is, meditation doesn't have to be anything elaborate, but it does have to be consistent. Something as simple as going for a nature walk, a quiet drive in the country, or even sailing could put you in a peaceful, relaxed state of mind. And when you're in a peaceful, relaxed state of mind, that mental chatter has quit, it stopped, and you're really able to tune inwards and receive the guidance that you're seeking. The second thing that can really help is journaling. And it's another powerful and marvelous way to quiet your mind and tune inwards. The act of journaling is an act of self-reflection. It causes you to listen to and to pay attention to how you're feeling. Journaling also allows you to tap into the guidance from your higher mind. And studies have shown that journaling is a route to healing emotionally, physically, and psychologically. I've been journaling pretty much all my life, and I've seen dramatic differences, mind, body, and soul. And if you take up the practice of journaling, you're going to discover that for yourself as well. 
And more importantly, journaling helps you to navigate through your stream of consciousness, which allows you to get back in touch with and listen to what is trying to flow forth onto the page. A really great book I can share with you is The Artist's Way by Julia Cameron. It's an old book, but it is one of my favorites and it's the most effective for you to get into this writing muse. Okay, so while learning to trust your intuition takes a little bit of focus effort, the confidence and trust you will receive is well worth it. And the knowledge that this confidence brings is that your intuition is on your side 110% of the time. And when you're in this state of utmost confidence, life in living becomes one of flow and the decisions you need to make are well-informed and timely and much easier to trust. So thank you, Shannon, in Scottsdale, Arizona, for your question. I know that with just a little bit of practice, a little bit of quieting the mind and journaling, that you're going to be well on your way on developing trust and confidence in the things that you're receiving. If you enjoyed this vlogcast, I invite you to like and subscribe, and I'll make sure to give you more tools, tips, tricks, and how-tos to help you live the psychic life. This is Dar Payment wishing you blessings, love, and light.